What's going on guys, those remote guys here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a dual monitor setup with an iPad for only $10, so stay tuned for this cool episode of those remote guys. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do is download the app Air Display off the App Store for $9.99, $10, whatever the heck you want to think of it as, but... I really think it's worth $10. I had an iTunes gift card to spend money on it, so I wasn't really too concerned. But if you want to spend actually $10, I think it's worth it after my experience with this app. I've had it for a day, and I'm really impressed with it. So, yes, download the app. That's basically all the money you're going to have to spend. It's really all the money you're going to have to spend, I should say. And all you have to do is launch the app. It's going to have a little tutorial down here, which I could go back and load. Step one, it just says buy it on the extra monitor, which in this case is an iPad. You could use an iPhone and other stuff like that, but really that's not that practical to be using a second monitor or even third monitor if you wanted with uh, iPhone. But yeah, you could have actually two uh, like iPads hooked up to this or whatever you want to, whatever combo you want. But then you have to go to get air dis you have to go to getairdisplay.com on your computer and install the free driver off their website. And it's basically that's the whole tutorial and they're doing a little bit of advertising. It's really, really simple, guys. All you have to do is go on that website, get airdisplay.com. And you'll get, if this will focus, you'll get Air Display 2. It's called the Air Display 2 little icon down here on your taskbar or your desktop. However you have it set up. Um, it's really close to how this uh, icon on the app looks. You can't mix them up, really. Um, and by the way, I just want to mention, this is not Air Display 1, this is Air Display 2, the new updated version. And uh, supposedly it's a lot better than the first one. But yeah, anyway, back to the computer. What you're going to do is just click on that and launch it. And this little uh, program will come up, and all you have to do is hit connect. And in an instant, look at how fast that loaded, I already have an, exten an extension of my PC screen or my laptop screen to my iPad. All my desktop icons have shifted over. Same exact layout as I've had. And um, basically, it's an extension of your screen. And watch this. I can take programs and push them over to here. It's really sick. There's no wires involved. It's so simplistic. Um, graphics wise, it's pretty cool. Um, or pretty good, I should say. The resolution's not like ex or uh, excellent, but I think it's not bad for an iPad 2 with no Retina display. Um, what's also really cool about this is it's touch screen, so I could go ahead and launch the keyboard on here. Um, I could launch the libraries if I wanted to on here. And I'm actually using a wireless mouse, and I think it's incredible that a wireless mouse hooked up to a laptop ooh, that is air displaying to a second monitor can actually control pretty smooth with really no lag to be honest or minimal lag at times and I can control my folders and I can go into documents and it's pretty cool and to prove it I yes I am using this mouse I'm not using this or that but look at it it loads pretty fast and everything so I think it's really cool, a good investment for 10 bucks. Definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, I think I'd give this app a 7 out of a 10, really, because one, the resolution's not that great, but I don't have, I didn't have high expectations going into this app, because the iPad 2, as I just said, doesn't have Retina. And the other reason I wouldn't give it a 7 out of 10 is, or I do give it a 7 out of 10, is because it doesn't play videos that great. It's really choppy um, on here, but basically you're just going to want to use all your video and your uh, high resolution work or videos or whatever you need that requires RAM basically to be done on here. And you should look at this as the extra monitor for stuff like loading libraries and maybe popping up documents and stuff. But I just think it's really cool, guys. I could go ahead and show you, like, how I'd use the internet, or how I have used it over the past day. Click on it, open it there. But if I don't want it over there, and I want it over here, as simple as that. 
and then I could just go ahead and make it full screen and then I could go ahead see it's lagging on me a little bit here but no big deal and I could go ahead and type it's pretty cool the typing is responsive um, I could even type on the iPad if I wanted to just go like that so I think you guys get the point uh, I know I've been rambling on this video a bit but I just wanted to show you guys this really cool dual monitor app I'm really impressed with it for 10 bucks you really can't go wrong especially if you're trying to save money and you need a monitor for the time and one cool thing is I could take half of my computer on an iPad and bring it over there oh, and it's doing that basically because I just flipped the screen around like yeah I just went like that but um, it's really cool I could go ahead and bring my iPad around the house and be on my computer um, so I think it's a really cool uh, innovative piece of technology and app um, so definitely check it out guys if you haven't uh, subscribed to us already be sure to we got a lot of cool videos coming out as always um, check out previous reviews and gaming videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button right over there guys and I appreciate it like this video and as always thanks for watching guys <laughs> Oh, and there goes the video, or our last video. All right, bye, guys. One day while the light is glowing, I'll be in my cave. Ask for money and get advice.